will come to you step by. This we have not yet covered. Five requirements. The purpose of the five requirements is to show the sinner after they repent and put faith in Jesus Christ they must continue in obedience to Christ throughout their life to have the promise of eternal salvation to have the promise of eternal salvation. Come with me, please, to Matthew chapter 24. We will look at verses 12 and 13 when you get there. And if you do not have your Bible tonight, Please listen very closely. Because these scriptures are not just for the people who are not saved. The word of God is for you and for me as well. Matthew 24, we'll begin at verse 12. The Lord Jesus Christ says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cool. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. We see the salvation. Though it begins, once one turns from sin and puts faith in Christ, it must be continued in throughout one's life for one to have eternal life with the Lord. Turn with me also, please, to John chapter 8. As we turn, I will say, all of these biblical steps are important. But this one is also very important for us who profess faith in Christ. For there are many who profess the church today. Who have repented and put faith in Christ at some point in the past. The Bible is not saved. Once saved, always saved, is not biblical. Jesus said that you and I must continue to the end to be saved. Jesus says, Yes, what I'm saying. You and I, Where were I mean? in John 8 11, must go and sin. Words, many believed on him. 
that said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him if ye continue in my word then are ye my disciples indeed and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free Look at verse 34. Jesus answered them, Barely, barely, I say to you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Jesus says, If you and I are committing sin, we're not serving him. We're serving sin. And the devil. Who are you serving tonight? And But we see, come back to the card, that Jesus says, once one is saved, they must continue in his work. It means to remain in the same state you were in before. That means when we repent and come to Christ, at that point our sins are washed away. Then Christ requires us. And it gives us grace to help us. His blood, his name, his power, his word, his spirit. And we can resist temptation to sin against him. And remain in the same state of loving. Thank you. 